Are you overwhelmed by the number of supplements that are in your cupboard? Do you have a practice of doctor Googling symptoms and then ordering a supplement or an herb in order to try to address a symptom? Join me this week as I take a look at this practice, which I'm not throwing any shade. A lot of people do it and how you actually could save yourself an awful lot of money doing it a different way. Hi, I'm Adrienne Irizarry. I'm an Eastern medicine practitioner who is passionate about women's health and helping women live their best lives. My goal is to put you in the driver's seat of your menstrual health, offering period solutions for a symptom-free life. Statements made in this program are for educational purposes only and not intended as a substitution for medical consultation or advice. We do not claim to diagnose, treat, or cure any diseases. This podcast is inclusive and welcomes all gender identities. The focus of the program is on biological function and we will use the term women throughout, but it is referencing physiological and social challenges for biology, not identity. Come as you are, I am happy you're here and welcome all performances of identity. I hope you find something helpful in this show. Welcome back to another episode of the Reproductive Rebel Podcast. I have to get on a soapbox today about Dr. Google. (laughs) So I've seen an increasing number of people coming into the practice recently that come in with huge lists of supplements because they have Dr. Googled their way through natural solutions because they don't want to go on medication or deal with some of the potential side effects of what's being offered to them by the allopathic model. And in season two, I did an episode about one size doesn't fit all in terms of herbs. And so if you want to hear the whole episode, check it out in season two. But essentially the gist of the episode is that working with a pelvic steaming practitioner and an herbalist or somebody who embodies the two skill sets is really important when you're choosing herbs for pelvic steaming because herbs have a combination of effects and how you put them together in a formula will create a certain set of effects and hopefully the desired outcome for what it is that you're experiencing for symptoms. And I feel like it's important to reiterate that same theme from a slightly different vantage point in this season, because Dr. Google, that phenomenon of Dr. Google. So let me explain what I'm talking about. You are having some sort of an undesirable symptom. You're having period cramps, you're having back aches, you're having recurring headaches, whatever it is. And you pick up your phone and you Google your symptom. And you want to see what is it that you can do from a natural perspective to deal with said symptom. It is a very normal and natural response. So this is not to shame anyone. This is to shed light on why that model is not serving you. Okay. We cannot treat herbs like they are pharmaceuticals. Okay. When you go into a traditional Western doctor and you say, hey, doc, I'm having fill-in-the-blank problem, they will give you fill-in-the-blank medication solution, okay? This happened with my husband very recently. He had blood work done, and it showed that he had slightly higher glucose levels than he realized, and they wanted to put him... Well, glucose, triglycerides, cholesterol, you know, there are a few things that are starting to happen there. And they wanted to put him on a statin. Here's the pill that is the quote unquote solution for the symptom. Okay. That is a very traditional Western approach to dealing with that set of symptoms. Okay. So what I'm finding is that people who want natural solutions are starting to use that same mindset when they look at natural forms of care. 
So they go, oh, I'm having this period problem. What herb can I use to deal with this? Well, there could be a list of six herbs. There's a reason for that. They have a combination of properties that will achieve several different outcomes. And so depending on the full picture of what is happening in your life at that particular time, and this could be emotional things too, right? This could be stressors that you're experiencing. This could be other symptoms, not just the one symptom that you went after solutions for, right? But when you're sitting down with somebody who is an herbalist and you look at the entire picture and not just that one symptom, and this is one of the reasons why I am a holistic women's health practitioner, because your body is more than just a combination of symptoms. Your body is trying to tell a full and complete story about what is going on inside the body so that you can support it in the best way possible. This is why I work with herbs, because herbs are so dynamic in terms of these plant allies offering us a myriad of properties that can, you know, one herb might solve five or six symptoms that you're having. but you need to know the Materia Medica in order to be able to make those choices. And so a lot of times people will be like, oh, I'm just going to Dr. Google this, right? And I have a few clients that we have this conversation on a regular basis. And again, this is not to throw shade. This is to highlight a traditional Western mindset being overlaid on herbs and natural solutions and recognizing that you can't treat them like pharmaceuticals, where it's one herb for one symptom, or it's a family of herbs for one symptom. Sometimes that's the case, but generally you're going to have an herb that's going to be an antipyretic. It's going to be an anti-inflammatory. It's going to be an analgesic. It's going to be, right? Like it might have six, maybe eight properties and meaning that you can use it in combination with other things in order to achieve a full outcome because you want to use the fewest tools possible in order to achieve that outcome, right? So I just wanted to convey to you that it's really important to sit down with a holistic women's health practitioner, an herbalist, somebody who is trained to be able to look at your complete picture and then make herbal recommendations. Because yes, there is a ton of information out there on the internet. There is a ton. And I'm not saying that you can't empower yourself. But a lot of times we make these kinds of decisions because we're just looking to feel empowered, right? We doctor Google because it's going to take us six weeks to get into a practitioner. And when I say that, I'm thinking more like a Western practitioner, right? A lot of times herbal practitioners can get you in a little sooner than that. But you're looking at it from the perspective of, I don't know why this thing is happening to me. This symptom doesn't feel good to me. And I'm trying to do something about it, right? There's absolutely no fault in that. But I do want to caution you that when you start to self I'm going to use the word medicate for lack of a better phrase. But when you start to self-diagnose and doctor Google what's going on with yourself, all of a sudden you end up with entire cabinets of supplements and you may or may not know whether they interact with one another or you may be trying to solve a problem and you get a synthetic derivative of something or you get something like, I'll give you a great example. And I think I used this in the last episode that I talked about this as well. But, you know, you could be getting something like curcumin with the idea that it's an anti-inflammatory and it's going to help with inflammation. Cool. It's the active ingredient in turmeric. The problem is that you need other things to make it active and to activate it. And a lot of times taking curcumin outside of turmeric itself, you're not getting the full benefits of what you would get when you use the active component in turmeric, but you're getting it in turmeric. And turmeric 
with some sort of an activating agent in it. Okay. So that's why in, you know, Ayurvedic cooking tradition, you're going to have ghee that's warmed in a pan, and then you're going to put the spices into the warm ghee, and you're going to essentially saute them for a little bit of time to activate their properties and bring them out. The ghee helps with that activation process. Black pepper, pipoli pepper can help with that activation process, right? So there are a lot of supplements that are sold out there that are the singular thing, but maybe it doesn't have the synergistic construction so that supplement is actually doing something for you, right? I am totally a food as medicine practitioner. I would much rather you get the foundational components that you're looking for from the foods that you're eating and how you're preparing those foods so that you're getting the most benefit from them. If I do at any time recommend supplementation to people, it's whole food, meaning that maybe you're not getting enough of a certain thing in your diet or for some reason, whether it's texture of, you know, I'm kind of thinking about liver when I have this conversation, you know, maybe texture is really horrible for people or taste is really horrible for people. And they just consistently cannot get the food itself into their body. I might suggest like a desiccated liver capsule, but something that is sourced from a grass fed, grass finished, really clean source, right? Because source is everything. I'm going to pause this incredible episode to share an opportunity for you to join me as a reproductive rebel. As you know, I'm a holistic women's health practitioner who practices with a focus in East Asian medicine. I truly am one of a kind in the way that I practice, and that is a part of what makes me a rebel. I am here to disrupt a healthcare model for women and provide natural and effective solutions for all phases in a woman's life. Do you feel called to make a difference in women's health, whether you are already a practitioner working in this space, wishing to add to your toolkit, or you are just a passionate rebel with a calling to make a difference for others as I was at the start of my career in this field? The Holistic Women's Health Practitioner Program is open for enrollment. I am looking for passionate, committed, and heart-centered people who desire to make a difference in the women's health space and desire to make it a place where women feel seen and heard, where their needs and concerns aren't gaslit, but really taken seriously and met with compassion and education to help them reach their goals. Does this sound like you? If so, please check out the program link in the show notes and schedule a one-on-one -on -one talk with me or join a free information session. Or if you know that without a doubt, this is where you want to go, enroll and get started today. Together, we will make a difference for the future of women's health care. I can't wait for you to join me. I have never met anyone as charismatic and downright passionate about women's health as Adrian Irizarry is. Not only is it just a delight to be in her presence as a friend, but as a student, her passion for her work, it comes through so prominently and it helps ignite the excitement that lives inside of me as her student. We literally laugh, we cry, we share, we support. The knowledge is endless and the infinite capacity of her being for this work and teaching and mentoring is just astounding. It's so beautiful. I can't think of a better instructor to be working with with this topic. We are powerful. Women hold the most beautiful power within their beings. And Adrienne is the perfect example of she. She is the epitome of woman. And now, back to the show. So working with somebody who understands all of the how to activate, what kinds of properties are going to solve the myriad of symptoms that you're experiencing, et cetera, is going to get you a much better outcome than trying to Dr. Google 
which again, very natural response. But you're trying to essentially self-medicate is what it is. You're trying to do it on your own without all of the expertise of one of these practitioners helping to back you. And it breaks my heart to see the thousands of dollars that people throw away every year trying to solve it themselves because they are trying to save money. And I understand that too. Everybody's got a budget and some of us are really squeaking by these days because the cost of everything has gone up. However, if you think about how expensive some supplements are, you know, supplement companies are making out like bandits. And if you think about how expensive some supplements are and how many of them you're taking that may not be serving you in the best good, you know, talk to a nutritionist talk to an herbalist, talk to a holistic women's health practitioner, you know, use a network of people or have one of those practitioners be part of your care team so that you can essentially use the fewest number of tools possible in order to achieve the outcome. Because in the grand scheme of things, sitting down and spending $100 to $200 with somebody who has the training and expertise and gives you exactly what it is that you need is going to save you thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars on the other end because you're not buying things you don't need. Does that make sense? So I'm saying this because the staggering number of people that I have seen come through the doors of my practice that have incredibly long supplement lists. And some of them may have been given to them by another practitioner. But nine times out of 10, this comes out of their own Dr. Google research. And it's understandable when you don't feel good to want to look and seek out solutions. But what I'm saying is don't cut corners. Definitely spend the time. Like we're really quick to, you know, schedule an appointment with a doctor, wait in a waiting room, have them be 15 or 20 minutes or more late to be able to see you. And, you know, we'll carve out the time for that. But, you know, when it comes to an herbal practitioner or a naturopath or somebody who works in this realm, a lot of times we have a hard time to justify the cost because it's out of pocket, right? Insurance does not really serve the common man these days. I hate to say it, but it's true. You know, I just look at my insurance, for example, and for all the things that it covers, it doesn't cover the handful of things that I would actually use it for. Acupuncture, chiropractic care, a naturopath. Like, I would much rather see practitioners that work in this world, but insurance companies have made it incredibly difficult. People on a budget want to use their insurance because they're already paying for it. So the idea of paying for a practitioner out of pocket is very undesirable. And I get it. But when you really truly sit down and look at what you are doing for supplements in your budget every single month, I guarantee you that you could pay to see somebody who could cut that list at least in half, if not more. If you invest in the appointment to see a practitioner who is trained to be able to look at an herb and understand its multidimensional properties and be able to solve the challenges that it is that you're dealing with the fewest number of brush strokes possible. Okay. So I don't want to belabor this point, but you know, this is kind of one of those short, sweet, and to the point episodes where I felt that it was really important to highlight and bring to mind and top of mind. And, you know, maybe this is an invitation to pause the next time you pick up your phone to go, oh, I have a skinned knee. What kind of oils could I use for that? Right. And I mean, some people are still going to do this. It's fine. But, you know, if you're aware that you know, you buy this essential oil, you buy that supplement over there, you buy this other thing, it all adds up. And because you're paying for so much of that out of pocket, right? Because none of that stuff is covered by our insurance. Prescriptions are, doctor's visits are, 
but none of the rest of that is covered by insurance. So because it's not covered by insurance, you're paying for those things out of pocket. You want the money that you have in your budget to go as far as it possibly can. Because everybody is pulling at those things these days. I've seen more posts on Facebook about, hey, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Is there some sort of a part-time job I could do a couple of days a week after my kids go to bed? Like we're all feeling the pinch. So why not make your money go further and really truly fit into your budget better in the grand scheme of things? Instead of grabbing a $50 over here and a $40 over there and a $12 over here, and right? This is already adding up. And when you get really good quality supplements, there is a cost associated with that quality. So why not sit down with somebody, even if it's like three sessions, and say, how can I make these tools work the best way for me? Are there things that I need to take out of this? I have people send me their list of supplements when we first start working together, and I work on paring it down for a lot of people. I work on paring it down. And it's mind boggling the number of things that I can cut out for a lot of people because there is either synergy and things they're already taking and they don't even realize it, or I can give them one thing that will take care of three or four of the things that they are currently on, right? So definitely reach out to your practitioners, your trained practitioners that can help you make the most out of your budget and what you're paying out of pocket because you deserve that. You know, it's so sad that the price tag on organic things and clean products is so darn high. And there are so many people who are financially really having a hard time and yet are still paying that elevated price tag because they just simply want to take care of their body and they recognize the value and the quality of what it is that they're paying for. And I commend that because you understand that good quality things are going to yield good quality outcomes. That is exactly the mindset that you need to adopt natural approaches in your regular day-to-day -day world. The challenge is, is doing it like you're coming from the mindset of a pill for the thing. And a lot of people end up with hundreds of dollars that they spend every month that could, in a lot of cases, be pared down. Or several functions could be held in one item, for example. And I always love when I can save my clients money doing things like that because it shows them that I'm not there to nickel and dime them. That is not the premise of being an herbalist. Like one of the things that my mentor said when I was in herbal school is that herbal medicine is the medicine of the people. And he and his wife tried very hard to keep education around herbalism as well as the products in their own herbal product line, very reasonably priced for that reason. They totally believed that herbal medicine or, I mean, it's present tense, they're just not teaching anymore. You know, they totally believe that herbal medicine is the medicine of the people. I believe that too. So when I can save people money and make sure that they're getting good quality things in their routine, it's so incredibly important. And sometimes we don't even need the supplements. Sometimes it's just a matter of creating some changes in your lifestyle habits, like giving yourself 15 minutes to enjoy a cup of coffee with no interruptions, or giving yourself a few extra minutes to look out the window and slowly integrate yourself into your day. That's honestly one of my favorite things that I changed in my own personal practices is opening the curtains in the morning letting the light come in, letting my eyes adjust to it, and just being present. Sometimes I'll sit and I'll meditate, but sometimes I just let my mind wander. 
being able to just slow down and take those few minutes for me before I have to wrangle teenagers to get out of bed because, you know, anybody who has a teenager knows that's a process or, you know, I'm going to have an infant in my life soon. You know, that little person's going to be demanding of my time also. And it's so important for me to be able to take those few minutes and just kind of be present in my body instead of, you know, what I used to do. As a small business owner, I was horribly guilty of starting my day looking at my cell phone and answering all of the messages and emails that I had in there because I didn't want people to wait very long. But I was burning myself out. It wasn't helping my health in any way. And leaving the device to the side for the first two hours of my day every day has changed the way that my nervous system functions. It changes the way that I feel every day. And sometimes just those little tiny changes, they don't have to be big, could eliminate a couple hundred dollars out of your supplement budget, right? So take the time, make the investment in yourself because you deserve it. And sit down and have a conversation with a nutritionist, with a holistic women's health practitioner, you know, one of these human beings, pull them into your care team and ask them, do I need all the things that I'm on? And is there a better way to do this? Because nine out of 10, there is. And I just want you to make the most of what it is that you have and have the best health possible. And supplements are not the only way to do it. Lifestyle changes speak volumes. And I'd love to have that conversation with you. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Reproductive Rebel. Reproductive Rebel is recorded by certified peristeam hydrotherapist and acutonics practitioner, herbalist, and Chinese nutritional therapist, Adrian Irizari of Moon Essence LLC. If you are interested in setting up an appointment for one-on-one -on -one support, ordering from our store, or checking out our course offerings, visit our website at moonessence.life. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter and get insider information on upcoming events and offerings. Join the conversation, like and follow us at Moon Essence Me on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Your voices make this program possible. Thank you all for your continued support.